Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, this video, I'm going to show you guys how to flash a ROM using Clockwork Mod 3. It's going to be a, um, a gingerbread ROM, so I'll show you how to do it with the gaps, uh, you know, the um, Google Apps and all that. So, uh, let's get into it. As you see, I got a uh, T Mobile G2. Um, but the first thing you want to do is you want to download your ROM, and since I'm using a gingerbread ROM, you're going to want to have to download. Um, Google Apps also. I'll show you guys how to do, uh, do that in my next video. But this is just showing you guys how to flash a, a basic ROM using, or not a basic ROM, a gingerbread ROM using uh, Clockwork Mod 3. But first thing you want to do is connect your phone. And then once your phone's connected, you want to go ahead and USB connect it to your computer or mount it to your computer. Once it's mounted to your computer, we'll go to, go to your computer, wait for it to pop up. Go ahead and open up files, open up folder view files, and then you just want to go to drag whichever ROM you want to use. You want to drag it. You want to drag it to the root of the SD card. That means it's not in any folders. So when you do it, it should pop up like that, not in any folders. Let it copy, and then you get also. I already got the gingerbread. Uh, I'm sorry, the gaps, the Google Apps um, file moved over, but you're gonna want to move that file over also because with the gingerbread ROMs uh, you need to, uh, well any cyan cyanogen mod, uh, mod ROM um, actually you need to uh, install the Google Apps with it. That copy This is the new uh, Ginger Villain, which I'm uh, 1.4. This is the, the newest uh, version of it, which I'm flashing now. And I'm, after I flash this, I'm gonna do a review video on the on the ROM. So go ahead and exit out of your uh, exit out of your uh, folders. Go back to your phone. Unmount it. Wait for. When you, un when you unmount it, you're gonna want to wait for. USB card to stop thinking, so you don't corrupt any of your files when you actually unmount it. Alright, now what you're going to want to do is go, go in your clockwork recovery mod. Like I said, this is a gingerbread um, This is a gingerbread ROM, so you're going to need clockwork recovery 3.0. So now what you want to do is you're going to want to uh, create a backup if you, if you ever already haven't created a backup, I have a backup already. Uh, what you're going to want to do is wipe data factory reset. It's the third option from the top. I know my camera sucks guys, I'm sorry. So go ahead and do that. Click yes, delete all user data. you want to do is you're going to want to wipe cache partition um, and go down to yes wipe cache. I believe the options are all the same for uh, uh, Clockwork Recovery 3 and Clockwork Recovery 2.15 or whatever it is, the green one. And then what you're going to want to do is go to advance and wipe Delvet cache. always quick. Alright, now you're going to hit the power button to uh, to back page and then you're going to want to go to install zip from SD card. Then you're going to go choose zip from SD card and scroll all the way down to uh, whatever ROM you put on here. In my case it's Ginger Villain 1.4. Go down to yes, install Ginger Villain 1.4. Let it install it. Alright, once 
process and the install and it'll say install from SD card complete. Now what you want to do is I just do this, you know, because uh, right now after you install the Google Apps package, uh, the um, the market likes to crash a lot on this ROM. So what you see, what you need to do is wipe everything before you install the Google Apps. Um, so I know I already wiped everything, but I just I'm gonna wipe it all again just to be um, just to be safe. Sorry guys, I got a cold. I know I'm sniffling a lot. Safe than sorry. I'd, I'd rather wipe everything twice and then, then no, install it and it wants to crash. So I have to do everything all over again. All right, now I'm gonna go back up. Go back to install zip from SD card. Uh, choose zip from SD card, and you're getting, you're looking for the gingerbread gaps, which is the gingerbread Google apps. Press install. This always takes a couple seconds. And install from SD card complete. Go ahead and back out. Hit reboot system now. It'll reboot and um, don't be alert. Um, a lot of rounds when you uh, when you initially when you first install them and you you do your first reboot from recovery. It could take up to four, five, six, seven minutes to actually, you know, boot up. So be patient. Don't like if it takes, you know, if it's been like five minutes and your phone already hasn't booted up, you know, don't freak out. Just give it time. It'll boot up. I know uh, this ROM is uh, is pretty quick about booting up uh, after you initially flash it, but there's ROMs out there that will take forever. Like back when I was, uh, I had my MyTouch uh, 3G and I was flashing ROMs. Uh, there was, I forget which ROM it was, I it might have been a, uh, I know it wasn't a Cyanogen build, I think it was a King Click build, and it literally took 10 minutes from the moment that I flashed it to act, from, from when I rebooted my phone, and it literally took 10 minutes to actually start up. set this up and get it rolling and I'll make another video about the review of this round. So I'll see you then.